Joe Cook here in the sports scene for you this evening. Hope you're having a good day. And now to make it a little bit better, let's talk some sports. Well, how about those Hawks? No, not the basketball team. The Hutchinson Hawks girls soccer team. They're undefeated so far, but last night they ran into the Lathrop Malamutes. The first half of this game went scoreless. Both teams were engaged defensively, stopping rushes, stepping in, stepping in and denying passes, and had some goalies doing work. But eventually, someone's defense would bend and another's would break. Ellie VZ broke Lathrop's defense with a goal to undo the stalemate. The Malamutes will try to answer with a wonder of a shot, but it bounces off the post, and that's how the ball bounced for Lathrop in this game. With just two minutes left in the game, VZ's second goal of the game ensured the victory for Hutch. Two O-Hawks who improved to 3-0. VZ talks about the win and Hutchinson's great start to the short season. We had to score, and we've been trying to score like the whole first half, but they just weren't going in. We had a lot of opportunities, and I just happened to be the one that finished them. West Valley has always been like the team to beat, and so beating them gave us like major confidence that we knew that if we could beat West Valley, we could go on to beat other teams that we usually wouldn't have been able to in the past. Like this is the first thing that Hutch has ever done really well in the like ever. So we just kind of want to, since it's a short season, we just kind of want to come out and give it our all. Unfortunately, the Hawks' early season success hasn't necessarily rubbed off on the boys' team, at least not yet. Connor Matheny led the late offense with a hat trick, but he couldn't do it without Justin Boynton, who dished out three assists. Constantine Baltese added two goals and an assist as well. The late Thurp Malamutes went 7-0, and they are 2-2 in conference and 4-4 overall. Late Thurp's next game for both girls and boys' teams is Wednesday against the Allison Ravens, and Hutchison will face North Pole this evening. And baseball season continues as interior teams were on the diamond last night at right field in North Pole. To the North Pole Patriots took on the Allison Ravens. Makai Stansel was on the mound for the Malamute. Stansel displayed some stuff with some off-speed pitches and fastballs to get the Ravens swinging. This K ended the second inning. Ryan Perdue, he gets an RBI single, bringing in runners to increase the lead. Allison did get on base and would get their first run off an errant pitch and catch, but Stansel would end the inning with another K. Terrell Ford added some power for Lathrop with a double, and it was 10-1 at the top of the third, and that was the thing for Lathrop, scoring. They win 29-1 over Allison. Some other scores from last night. Tyler Christmas' first start of the season was a complete game with 11 Ks for West Valley as they win 6-1 over Monroe. John Lavelle and Trent Shue provided the offense with a double, triple, and three RBIs between them. Wolfpack are 3-0 this season in softball over at South Davis Field last night. The Wolfpack were coming off a 3-4 road trip and couldn't make enough plays to keep up with Lathrop. The Malamutes remain undefeated with the 9-1 win. In some turmoil out of the Alaska Anchorage hockey program, today the AP reported that former head coach Dave Shayak has been accused of hitting a former player, Nick Haddad, during practice in 2011 season. Haddad is a West Valley product and former Ice Dogs player from the interior. Teammate Mickey Spencer wrote a letter to UA's president, Patrick Gamble, about the incident, saying that Shayak's did a baseball swing at Haddad's thigh after being upset with Haddad during a drill in practice. Two other teammates confirmed the incident as well. Shaq denies the incident occurred and denied to comment yesterday. Now for more positive sports news, the Midnight Sun runs under new management this year. The United Way withdrew and the Fairbanks Resource Agency has picked up to take over the race. The 31st Midnight Sun Run 10K will be the 22nd of June at 10 p.m. Registration begins on May 18th and you can register online on the sites on your screen or at Beaver Sports, Team Cutters or the FRA. You can also email them as well. Today we caught up with the race director and the community outreach, outreach director of the FRA about this year's big race. And this year we're also going to offer the awards ceremony. They've never done it before in the past. They, because it's so late, people want to go home and go to bed. We'll be doing an awards ceremony and then at 12 o'clock we're going to do the um, costume contest awards. And so we hope people will stay around at least till midnight, if not one o'clock. What I said about the race being inclusive for anybody, it, it matches what we, our philosophy of anybody can join in. You can be in a wheelchair, you can walk, you could run. And, and that just it reflects our mission so well. And that'll do it for sports tonight. Thanks for rocking with me for a little while. Stay cool, Alaska. Mike Schultz has your full weather forecast coming up next. We'll catch you next time.